Okay, so let's consider what happens now when a pulse traveling along one string meets another string. In this case, two separate things happen. Some of the pulse is transmitted and some is reflected back. Let's start by considering this bit which is reflected back. Well, if we are traveling from a lower dense medium and then it's connected to a higher dense medium, in this case, it's equivalent to being connected to a fixed end. So Newton's third law says that it will have a force downwards on this rope here. And so the pulse will be reflected back having undergone a pi phase change. So it will be reflected back underneath. Now let's consider what happens with the transmitted wave. The transmitted wave doesn't undergo any phase changes. There's nothing to make it undergo a phase change. However, we've derived an expression for the velocity of the wave in the medium. And if it's going from a less dense medium to a more dense medium, you can see that this mu is going to be larger in the more dense medium. And so if mu is larger, it means that the velocity in the more dense medium is actually going to be lower. So in this medium, it's going to travel more slowly. And as it travels more slowly, it means that the, this edge has time to catch up to this edge. So we'll actually end up with a slightly shorter wavelength. Let's have a look at that in practice now. You can see the wave going from the less dense medium here to the more dense medium. You can see how it travels more slowly here and is more compacted. Now in the case of where we're going from a more dense medium to a less dense medium, the reflected pulse doesn't undergo that phase change. It's like being reflected from a loose end. And the transmitted pulse, in this case, because the mu is smaller, the velocity is actually larger. And so the wavelength actually ends up being more spread out. So we can see that here. We're going from a more dense medium now to a less dense medium. You can see how it spreads out and goes faster. So this will replay a few times so that you can concentrate on getting all that information from it. Okay, so in summary, as a wave moves from one medium to another, its velocity will change. We knew that, we derived that at the start of this lecture. Okay, now the important thing is its frequency stays the same. So this f is constant, it doesn't depend on the medium. Now that means that its wavelength must change. If v equals f lambda is true, then if the frequency is staying the same and the velocity is must ch changing, then the wavelength has to change as well. So slower waves in more dense mediums have a shorter wavelength. Okay, now there's a question for you to try to make sure that you can put all this into practice.